Hello, welcome to Chad Making TV. This is tutorial 101 with Microsoft Excel. When you double click to open up the program, it should open up with a blank workbook document. If for some reason it doesn't, you can create a new document by choosing File, New Workbook, or you can hit Apple N or Control N if you're on uh, Microsoft. Uh, here we have a, a created text document with two sample columns. Let's go ahead and copy and paste the first column to copy. On an Apple, choose Apple C, which is Command C, or on a Microsoft Control C. C is for copy. You can also choose Edit, Copy, and then right there it will tell you what the shortcut is. So we will copy that and paste that over into here. And then we will paste our second row over here. So if we want to change the size of our column, we can see that this is uh, cut off. You click in between the B and the C, click and drag, and then we get our column space. Now let's take a look at what this looks like when we go to print it. So File Print or Apple P, Control P if you're on a PC. And we can see we've got our columns there, but no borders in between. Uh, if you don't have a little print preview like this, you, you will have a preview option. Just click that. So we'll go in here to get our uh, column borders. You select uh, to select multiple rows or in columns. You'll start up here in your A1 field. Hold down your shift key and then select your B4 field. And that selects them all. Then go up to Format, Cells, or Apple 1, Control 1 on a PC and choose border. Choose outline and inside and over here we have our options on changing the thickness. We'll come back to that. Click OK. Now hit file print. Now we can see we have our border. Say we want to stretch it out for the full screen. Come up here, click in between A and B, drag it out to about halfway through the page, then to drag this out. Now we've got uh, taking up the full page so if we wanted to be able to have people hand write in their names you can come in here and change the spacing in between each of these rows uh, highlight this and just hit the delete button and that will delete everything inside the row so someone could come in here if you're just printing it out for someone to be able to use to pencil in names etc so now we'll go uh, say we want to uh, come in here and we want to increase uh, the thickness of the line go back into format cells and we will now choose this bolder line click outline inside and now we have a nice thick line to separate our header from our uh, various columns in our rows underneath um, Okay, also I would note uh, you will have a formatting palette over here. This is where you uh, change the font size of your uh, column, the bold, italicize, do all your controls. You can center it, write justify, um, you know, whatever, whatever you need to do. So just wanted to familiarize you with that column. I believe you can also do that in the format area under font you can change it in there too so whatever you're more comfortable with using a formatting palette is usually the preferred method so let's take a look at our columns make sure everything's good yeah we've got our bold line um, everything's the way we want it so then we just hit print and that's it for Excel 101 thanks for watching Chad making TV